Hi guys, in this presentation, we shall learn about pull up and pull down resistor concepts. Okay, so why we use pull up and pull down resistors and what exactly and what is the application of it? Okay, this is an AND gate in which if I consider, for example, we in digital circuits, in digital circuits, we deal only with two type of logics. Okay, logic one and logic zero. It represents five volts. It represents zero volts. If I close this switch here, I got the value as 1. If I close this switch here, I got the value of 0. The answer will be 0. Okay, it's pretty simple. Okay, so what happens if I open the switch? Okay, if I open the switch, if I open the switch, then what is the state at here? Okay, it is neither connected to ground or to VCC. Then this state, this state is known as a floating state. So, floating state means it is neither 1 nor 0. It is a potential to float between 0 to 5 volts allowing inputs to self bias at any voltage level. Simply speaking, we don't know what is the voltage at that point. Okay. How to avoid that floating condition? For example, if I close this switch, I will get 0 as here okay if i open it this is a floating condition as we discussed here so how to make it not to float okay it we have to restrict either to zero or to one so if i close it it is zero if i open it how to make it one what i'll do is i'll simply connect this y this point to plus vcc so what happens less if i close it i'll get here zero okay zero volts if i open it I'll get here plus VCC which means 5 volts okay so it is working right so but there is a small trick here see whenever I close that switch there is a short between plus VCC to ground so this is not acceptable because see it's a short circuit which means it doesn't have any resistance to oppose the flow of the current okay which means that there will be huge amount of current flowing in this direction okay so this will damage the supply so in order to avoid that we'll use a simple resistor here okay when i close this switch here current will flow okay from here in this direction current will flow but due to this resistance the current will be limited okay so the question is what is the value of this resistor okay we will find it okay we'll use some simple math and we'll find out what is the resistor and what this is what a pull-up resistor is whenever the switch is open which is in floating condition to avoid that floating condition it is pulled to that positive vcc okay so when switch is open it is open circuited right like this it is open circuited now this positive is applied to here it is in one state okay so how to how to use this pull down resistor we will see see whenever the switch is closed we will get positive vcc and here which means the logic one okay whenever the switch is open it is in floating condition in order to avoid that floating condition what i'll do is i'll put a resistor and ground here so what it will do see whenever we close the switch plus vcc current will flow like this okay current is limited the appropriate voltage is applied to here okay when the switch is open here it is connected to ground okay then it is at logic zero okay so how to calculate this resistor value also we will see okay in order to first calculate these resistor values we should know about some basic concepts of this logic voltage levels since i said that for zero logic zero means zero volts logic one means five volts but exactly it has some range okay it is not exactly zero or exactly five volts from 0 to 0 0.8 it is considered as logic 0 okay from 2.0 to 5.0 it is considered as logic 1 in between these it is an undefined state okay which means we can't say whether it is 1 or 0 so we have to apply these voltages to recognize as logic 0 we have we have to apply this voltages to recognize as logic 1 how to calculate the value of resistor using these values we'll see okay so before understanding that i have to say one concept also 
this uh, this AND gate, you were applying the voltages here, right? Plus VCC and ground. That is just inputs, okay? In order to work, we have to work with this AND gate. You have to you have to provide the supply to the AND gate, okay? This is to work the AND gate. This is the inputs to given to the AND gate, okay? Don't confuse in between them. And AND gate using it's not a GAN gate, any digital circuit or any digital, it, it requires it requires a, a, a certain amount of current to work with it, okay? Not only appropriate voltage, see, not only 5 volts or 2 volts, it should it should get appropriate current to work, okay? So, that current is known as current sinking, okay? What it takes is current sinking, what it can deliver is sourcing ability, okay? You can check out this. It's in, in simple words, the amount of current which it takes is current sinking. The amount of current which it can give is sourcing ability. Okay. We have to design the resistor value or we have to calculate the resistor value depend upon the voltage, voltage levels and the current sinking and sourcing ability. For example, if the current sinking is 20 microamperes, for consider 20 microamperes, which, which when we apply a positive voltage, it can 20 microamperes will be taken for example it's a maximum value consider it as a maximum value which it can take then how to find the pull up resistor value that is the main question okay see from this band we know that 2.0 is recognized as a logic one so what I'll do is I'll find the maximum value okay maximum value of pull up resistor so how to do that it's simple math see here the applied voltage is taken in this gate and sufficient amount of current should be given. If I consider 20 microamperes as a maximum current, so I can write like V is equal to IR, so R equal to V by I. Okay, so maximum current into this is 20 microamperes. 20 microamperes. So what is the voltage? See, here the voltage is 5 volts. Here what I've designed from from this logic, I'll, I'll put two volts. Okay, if I put two volts, five minus two is three, right? It is a potential difference. This across what is the voltage across this resistor is three volts, right? It is a drop. Okay, so that, that I have to take the drop, and if you simplify it, we'll get an answer. Okay, so that much amount of resistor I have to place there. It's a maximum value. So you may you may think why I have put two okay you can put three also you can put four also but here drop will be reduced for example if I put here I, suppose I want here three volts then the drop will be two okay if I put drop here if I put two then that that appropriate resistor will be placed here and you will get a drop of three volts okay since your value is decreased here this resistor value will be also decreased so that's why I said that I, if I put two, if I put here three, which means if I put here three, if I put here three, which is nothing but drop, okay? Don't confuse here. Here I want the voltage two volts, okay? The drop will be three volts, okay? Five minus two is three. So if the drop is maximum, then R will be maximum, okay? That is my point. So it depends on you what type of voltage you want there, what type of current you want there. Then you have to decide and you have to see the data sheets and you have to calculate the value appropriate to your design, okay? It is, it's, it's not like we have to do like this only, okay? There is not, a, there is no, there is not a fixed resistor user using pull up, okay? We have to calculate the value. So usually. These are nothing but TTL logic families. Okay, it ha there are so many families for so many families. There are so many ranges are there according to that. We have to design that. Okay, and similarly, what about pulled resistor again? Same story. See, you can see that if I close this switch, we'll get one here. If I open it, I want to get zero. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a resistor and put it to ground. So how to find this resistance value? If I want here 0.8 volts, then what can I do? See? Again, apply the apply the Ohm's law. The difference between 0 0.8 and 0, since ground is 0, right? 0 0.8 minus 0 by whatever the amount of current it, it can it can give, right? Since if you open the circuit, it is ground, the current will flow in this direction, right? If I consider the current out of this is maximum value of, of so for example, 400 microamperes, then if you calculate 
0.8 by 400 micro amperes we will get the answer okay again it depends on what what the circuit you take what type of uh, what is the amount of current it draws okay that value should be taken from the data sheet okay okay see the conclusion is to prevent the accidental switching of any unconnected input should be tied with one and zero which means it if it is in floating state then i have to tie with one which means vcc or zero with ground to a resistor okay you can simply see like this whenever i close it i got an zero here if i open it i got one here this is due to this is due to this pull up resistor okay it is pulling up okay again if i close it i'll get vcc here if i open it this is pulling down okay this is pull down resistor so remember okay where, where to put the res where to put the resistors okay analysis the circuit will get the idea how to do this okay